Welcome back aliens, my name is Levin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. In the last video, we tried to put the static files in our project. So it was a simple HTML file, plus we wanted some supporting file as well, like JavaScript, CSS and images. And then we were trying to make it work. But unfortunately, things are not working here. So as you can see, we, we are getting the output where uh, you got a page, but then it's not properly formatted because to have a proper layout to it, we need CSS. And if I just go to inspect and if I search for console, you can see a lot of files are actually missing. But do we have this file in the project? Let's verify. So if you go back to the project, you can see we don't have a folder where it has all the JavaScript or images. So what we will do is let's create a simple folder. And that will be done in the Telesco. So let's do that in the, in the project itself. So in the project Telesco, let's create a folder and let me just name that folder as static. You can have any name, doesn't matter. It, you can call it as assets or static. And in this static folder, what I want is I want to put all my files, all my static files. So let's go back to the place where we have our template. So this is our template where we have four, uh, four folders. One is images, then we have JavaScript, plugins and styles. Okay, so as you can see, we got two folders here. One is the template, which is Travelo here, where we have four folders. And then this one is our project folder, which we have created the project, which is Telisco. And then we have also created the folder, which is static. So let's go there. I want these four folders there. So we can simply copy these four folders and paste it here. The moment you do that, let me just close this. We don't need this anymore. Close this. And you can see here in the static, we got all the files. Now it should work, right? Because we have done, we have added the files. Once it is copied, let's go back to the browser and let's say refresh and you can see it's still not working because it's not, it's not that easy. See, trust me, when you work on a project, uh, there are certain, certain things you will be doing only once. Example, setting up your static files, you will be creating one particular folder, you will be putting all your files, but your Django should know where to look for those files and that's why we have to specify the path but not in a html format or the plain path you have to mention that in a django format okay what i'm talking about so first of all you need to go to settings.py and you, here you can see we have a static url by saying static but then to make it work to use your static files we have to work with two more settings here so the first one is to specify where you will file all the static files to do that, we have to say static. So we are informing Django now where you will find all the files. So it's the static files underscore D-I-R-S. And here we have to specify the path. It can be multi multiple paths, so we'll be using a list. And here we have to say os.path.join. So basically you're joining the base path plus with the telesco slash static path. So to do that, we have to first say base path and the base path is base dir and here you have to specify the place. So you have to telisco slash static. This is where you will find all static files. But then what Django will do is Django will make it simple. So Django will say, okay, you have a static file or static folder where you have all the files. So what I will do is I will pick up all the files in your static folder and I will put that in my particular folder, Django folder basically, just to improve the process. But what should be the name of that file? So you have to specify that. So we'll say static root equal to, uh, so we can give any name. So we'll say os.path.join and it should be in base directory. So we'll say base dir and then we can put that in any folder. We can have it named static. That's your choice. Let's time it, let's say assets. So we'll put all our folders. In fact, Django will do that. Django will put all our, all our static files in this asset folder and our job is done. But then the way you can refer them is with the help of static. So this is how you can refer to the static files. Okay, uh, so this thing should work now, but let's go back, let's verify. Ah, oh, still not working, what went wrong? Uh, okay, so what I will do here is, let me just restart the, restart the server one. Ah, oh, not working. So what we are missing? First of all, we, we are saying Django will create a folder named as assets, but you can see we don't have any folder anywhere here. So we have to create that folder first, but I have mentioned that, you know, Django will do that. So yes, you have to inform Django, hey, you have to create a folder, which is assets. And the way you can do that is by, okay, let me just pick up this, some other CMD and here we'll do that. So we'll say CLS, okay. So first of all, let me just work on test, CD, Telesco. So we have to pass a command if you want to get a folder. And the command is, again, you have to say Python manage.py. We know 
for anything where we use this file. So there's a specific uh, command which is collect static. The moment you do that, it will collect all the files. Okay, so we got an error. Okay, so so it says there is a problem with the with the path. Oh, okay. So I have created this static folder inside Telesco, which is the base directory. So maybe I have to remove this one. It should, it is not inside Telesco and say enter. Okay. Now it, it is working. You can see we, it is, it is working now and you got a separate folder, which is assets. Can you see that? And in, in this assets, you got all the files. This is what we wanted, right? Okay. Now, once we have done with that, let's go back to our browser and run. Oh, it's still not working. So we are, we are going step by step, right? So first we have mentioned that, Hey Django, you are responsible to handle all static files. But the moment you say Django will handle everything, we have to also edit a file here. Now, which file? Now, of course, when you say you are working with index.html, you can see this is where we are specifying all the parts. Example, if I go back here, so you can see here it says uh, it's not able to find the CSS file. So it is on line number nine. So if you go to line number nine, you can see we are trying to use a CSS, but then it's not in a proper place. So how do you provide a link here? Now, whenever you work with static, so you have to change this URL. So you have to change this href to the Django understandable language. So just before every path, you have to do one change, which is you have to say curly brackets, percentage static just before the path. And all these things will be coming from the static folder. So your path will be in a single quote of static attribute or static tab. So we are saying this, you will find this in a static folder right now. So this static we have configured just before, right? So I know it's a tedious task, but you have to do that everywhere. So whenever you have a path, you have to change this. So once I change this one, you can see there was an error on line number nine, but the moment I refresh it, but this time we got a different error. So it says invalid block tag on line number 10, which is static. So it is not able to understand static. So that's where we have to inform Django, hey, you have to load the static file first. So you have to say dollar load static. The thing is, you know, when you as, as a programmer, you spend less time in coding and more time in debugging, right? I hope this will work now. Let's refresh and okay, so this, this worked. You can see there's something changed in the layout. Uh, so that means the first, it, it has find the first line. So on line number nine, they are gone. Now the next error is on line number 12. Same thing can be done on line number 12 as well, which is here. So this path need this thing. So we can simply copy this and paste it here. And we will give, we'll end this with percentage and curly brackets. Let's go back and say refresh. And you can see every time you do one correction, it will change something in the in the front end. And if I go back, you can see it, it is done with the line number 12, this is line number 13. Now the template which we are using has so many images, so many styling, so it will take some time. But when you are working on it, initially from start itself, you'll be doing all these changes, right? So what I will do now is I will complete the entire stuff. So wherever I have plugins, styles, and every, all these errors, I will put this thing just before that and then we'll resume with the video. Okay, so I have done the changes everywhere. So wherever I found styles, plugins, JavaScript, everywhere I have done with this particular code. So now it's time to verify. Let's go back to the browser and say hit refresh and done. Can you see that once you have changed everything, you got a page. Now this is a dynamic page and we got a price list and everything is working. You can see there's no error, but now you will say, hey, this is still static, right? What is dynamic, dynamic here? Now, since we are sending all this data from Django, we can make it dynamic. So if I go back to my code, wherever you have a price, you can make it dynamic by sending the value from the views.py. But how to do that, that will see in the next video. So I hope you are enjoying. Yes, there are so many things running here. Uh, so just to go for a quick recap what we have done. So basically we are copying a template from the internet where we are saying, hey, I'll be using the same template so it has some static files, but Django need to handle the static files. And to do that, we have to create a folder. We can name it anything you want, maybe static or something. And this is where you have to paste all the static files. And then in the settings.py, this is where to specify uh, from where you will get all the static content. How do you refer it? And then in which folder you want to put it? So you can see we got that in assets. I mean assets folder. Here you have all the uh, static files. And if you want to use them in your index.html or whichever uh, page you are working with. So you have to prefix with the static tag 
And then on top of it, you just have to say load static. That's it. It will work in your project. So in the next video, we'll make it dynamic and we'll send the values in the page. So that's it from this video. Bye.